Well, I did it as a favor to Tina Davis. And, uh, you know, she knows me well. And, again, I can't say no to a friend. But she also knows the way I approach the music business and almost every other thing in life, which is pretty much untraditional. So I figured that she, being so aware that I'm definitely going to be against the grain, that's what she wanted, and they would embrace it. And in that respect, they would have to keep it real. Like, I've watched music change to where, you know, rock and roll is now hip-hop. You know, hip-hop is definitely the new rock and roll. It's what every kid is looking at to, to sort of communicate. You know, where rock and roll was the disruptive voice, now it's hip-hop. And, you know, I'm looking at the festivals, and the festival used to be predominantly rock and roll, and now it's predominantly hip-hop. You know, and if you talk to a kid from that's not from the urban culture, they're listening to hip-hop <laughs> before they're listening to, to rock and roll and live instrumentation. So it's, I'm curious to see where hip hop is going to evolve or what kind of things are going to merge into hip hop. Like I was kind of surprised they got Nipsey Hussle because he's such a free spirited, independent thinker, you know, what he represents. But I was happy that they were showing that perspective of things. He's that guy that, that, that sacrificed his life so that other people don't have to feel so much pain, you know, and he, he walked it like he talked it. And, um, you know, it's a normal story of someone that is telling the truth trying to help his people, and then someone from his culture, someone close to him, picks him off. And it happens all the time. So it's kind of sad that you're not surprised because it's a cycle that needs to stop and that, you know, the good have to die young so the bad will learn from it. It sucks too, you know. And in hip-hop, it seems to happen, like, you know, once a generation. You know what I mean? And it's always over some bubblegum shit. So... You know, his message will live, and again, because, you know, the way he transitioned, his impact will, it's going to make him legendary. He's a saint, and he deserves it. That's the most important distribution is your own, because if somebody's distributing me, no matter how much content I make, if no one can see it, if they could turn my lights off, then how it's going to be sold, and then I got to listen to them, and independence means everything to me, so yeah. I don't think it makes sense for me to have to talk to another culture or make things for my culture, give it to another culture to sell it back to my culture. That's just not what I'm doing these days. You know what I mean? And that's what I've invested most of everything in for the last 10 years is learning how to create content good and fast and then learn how to distribute it. You know, so I can make the music. I can direct the movie. I can make the clothes. I can make the liquor. I can make the weed. I make everything you see. So watch that I let somebody else partake in that. I'm a rock star. I'm a superhero. I walk it like I talk it. I fear nothing. And you see it. And, you know, to me, back in the day, like, in the Roman times, to really be famous, you had to conquer something. You had to win a war. You had to show that you could wave a flag and, you know, go fight for something you believed in. And that's what I do constantly. I have battles. I win wars. It's a big feather in my cap. It's my high school. You know what I mean? But the thing about it is it's like... Once you start 23 years ago doing that, what you doing now? How have you evolved? Am I still pushing that old work? Nah. You know, it's a reflection of my mentality 23 years ago. Of course, it's going to be more evolved now. So I'm happy that what I did at that, you know, the shit I was thinking in, I was able to turn it into what it was or what it is. You know, I'm not so happy about how things rolled out. But, you know, for what we did when we were younger, it was great. You know, it's beyond dope. But remember that. I put that shit out. Don't, don't, don't let them erase You know, that's what they do They try to erase your history And then they try to implement Who they want you to believe Did that shit Jay rapped on that record I put the record out You know what I mean Let's get, let's, Don't get it twisted